This is the first chapter uh, in principle of finance, the, the role of managerial finance. What we are going to learn here, we're going to work um, at three different goals, define finance and managerial finance function, then we're going to look at different legal forms of business organization. We're going to also look at the goals of firms and the maximizing um, and explain why maximizing the value of the firm is an appropriate goal for a business. Now, there are another three learning goals which will be part of the second uh, presentation. So let's move forward and see what is finance. So finance is both science and art. It is science because um, it is um, it is science because we have a set number of uh, um, we have set mathematical methods and also we have set um, mathematical processes rules that guides how we estimate a model and then how we project a model. However, it is also called an art. It is art because there is uncertainty in this world and in order to bring that uncertainty into numbers one has to uh, use their judgment or you know incorporate uh, use different methods in to incorporate that uncertainty into the model to get more realistic projections so uh, when we're looking at the finance um, at personal level it actually means uh, how to spend save or invest that's um, almost um, with everyone. Uh, when it comes to firms, it takes another shape. For instance, how to raise money for the business, how to invest uh, the money, and how to reinvest or dis distribute the profits to the firms. Now, uh, what are the career opportunities in finance? Let's look at that. And uh, obviously, we can see that um, uh, finance is concerned with design and delivery of ad advice and financial products to individuals, businesses, and governments. And if you have ever been to the banking uh, sector, you know any accountant bank or you know any uh, mutual fund, investment mutual fund, or have an insurance, you know that these are all areas where you can have a career opportunities. Apart from that, managerial finance basically is concerned with the duties of financial managers working in a business. Now, what is the main uh, duty of a finance uh, manager and that is to develop a financial plan or budget as I said it's an art because uncertainty has to be incorporated into financial plan and um, uh, that that requires um, skills um, others could be extending credit to customer evaluating proposed large expenditures raising money to fund the firm's operations and so on and so forth Let's come to legal forms of business organization. What are the legal forms? Um, sole proprietor, as we know that it's business owned by one. Partnership, business owned by two or more. While a corporation, it's an entity created by law. And uh, when we say entity created by law, it's like a person in the eyes of law. So it can be, um, it can be brought to the court. It can be penalized like a human, uh, like a naturally living person. <clears throat> so there are you know a lot of strengths and weaknesses of these uh, business uh, forms or legal forms of businesses and you can see that um, one of the most important is uh, the uh, the the uh, liability limited liability limited liability is what makes corporation a very very attractive legal form of business in sole proprietorship uh, sole proprietorship all profits and all profits as well as all losses are sustained by the owners while in partnership it's how much money has been invested to, to, to that proportion one can incur the loss or the profit however in corporation you have limited liability which means owners are separate from the corporation and they can only incur loss um, to the tune of their investment in the business and you can see uh, the weaknesses are mostly tax related you know uh, corporations are mostly uh, paying high taxes um, or it, actually they are under high tax regimes um, owners have unli unlimited liability and may have to cover debts for other partners um, here it's in um, 
Here is also its unlimited liability and so on and so forth. So uh, we have these strengths and weaknesses um, which you can look into it and it helps uh, bigger corporation has more incentive it's more efficient it has access to a lot of funding while compared to sole proprietor partnership it has uh, it's, it's the same uh, benefits becomes constrained for sole proprietor and partnerships what are the career opportunities in managerial finance well the most important is financial analyst and you can see that it is basically CFA Chartered Financial Analyst Program that leads to being become a financial analyst. There are others: Capital Expenditure Manager, Project man, Finance Manager, Cash Manager, and so on and so forth. So, what is the goal of the firm? And as this slide ex actually explains, uh, the only decision rule for managers: only take actions, only take actions that are expected to increase the share price. Now, if the firm share price is increased because the manager took a decision, you know, to um, enter into a new project or sold a project, etc., increase in the share price actually leads to um, uh, uh, leads to acceptance or rejection of a project. So, financial manager basically uh, has to make a decision. He have a range of decisions let's say three to five decisions, three or five different projects he has to select, then he's going to assess or estimate the risk and return of the project. And if the project uh, risk return in, uh, increases the share price, then they are going to accept it. Otherwise, they're going to reject it. So the sole criteria, uh, of, um, uh, this sole criteria for accepting or rejecting a project is if it increases the share price uh, when compared to the other projects. We're going to look at uh, this in detail later, especially in capital budgeting uh, decisions. So if you look at here, if you say maximize profit is the goal of the firm, then which investment is preferred? And you can see that there is two investment, Rotor or Wolf. I can you know, invest um, money here or here, and I can get $1.4, $1, $1.4 for year one, two, three, and total of $2.8 over the three years, and same $3 uh, total for years uh, for three years so uh, profit maximization may not lead to the highest possible share price for at least three reasons you can see if i select this it gives me higher return uh, in the earlier years and lower in the later years while the total return is also low wolf give me less return in the beginning but later years it gives me higher returns with the total return higher than the rotor this also so, so, so you can uh, see which one is preferred. So the first thing is timing is important. The receipt of funds sooner rather than later is preferred because more uncertainty is associated with later years. Hence, if you get it earlier, it's better. Profits do not necessarily result in cash flows. So we have no idea that whether this $3 is actually received or not. If it's accrued and not received, then two and 2.8 is received, then 2.8 is much better than three. And then profit maximization fails to account for risk. As I said, uncertainty in later years is higher compared to earlier years. Hence, profit maximization, you know, looking at these figures does not actually give us a fair view of the risk. So what is the goal of the firm? and uh, goal of the firm is uh, to increase the share price and what is the role of stakeholders within this goal of the firm so stakeholders uh, are groups such as employees customer suppliers creditors who have direct economic link to the firm a firm with a stakeholder focus consciously avoids actions that would prove detrimental to stakeholders the goal is not to maximize so please remember the goal is not to maximize stakeholder they are not the shareholders they are stakeholders but we want to preserve their well-being we want to preserve their well-being so we don't want them to be uh, feeling bad about the um, feeling bad about the company such as such a view is considered normally to be socially responsible and you'll be hearing this uh, term a lot later 
What is business ethics? Let's define it. Business ethics are the standard of conduct or moral judgment that apply to persons engaged in commerce. Now, if they are violated, there are, is there are penalties. So the most important is the negative publicity often leads to negative impacts on a firm. And what are the positives of ethics programs or ethics actually reduce litigation? You know, it's more money in firm's pocket, judgment cost, uh, maintain a positive corporate er image, <coughs> build shareholders' confidence, gain the loyalty and respect of all stakeholders. So this is the expected result of such program is to positively affect the firm's share price. On the whole, if you look at it, a good ethics program actually reduces the firm's cost enhances its um, uh, brand uh, and as well as increase profits. So managerial finance function uh, basically uh, it depends on the size of the firm. A small firm may have a, a finance function attached to the CEO function or you know accounting department. However, in large uh, firm, it is appropriate to have a separate department led by a separate CFO. And you can see this graph where we can see that, you know, stockholders are on the top. They are the shareholders or stockholders. They elect board of directors, board of directors hire. So this is the ownership structure. This is the ownership structure and hires the president now these are the managers now owners hires the managers the top in the line is president uh, which is also ceo then there are a number of other managers advising the president and also holding different portfolios for instance vice president human resource manufacturing but then there is vice president finance cfo the cfo is holding two important areas treasurer and controller now, Controller is mostly with the tax and accounting, while treasury is mostly uh, related to uh, capital expenditure, credit, foreign exchange, pension fund, cash, financial planning and fundraising, etc. Now, uh, in the next presentation, we're going to look at the relationship of uh, managerial finance or finance with economics and finance with accounting to get a good idea, a solid idea of how um, uh, economics and accounting helps and they are not counter to finance, actually they support the finance function.